select a clamp that will maintain four point contact with the tooth's proximal surfaces. If the clamp is too large, it will impinge on the soft tissues. If it is too small, it will not properly grasp the tooth surface and will be unstable. The tooth that receives the clamp is called the anchor tooth. The Simple Dam Kit contains the most widely used clamps. The number 9 clamp is used for anterior teeth for endodontic therapy. The number 2 is the most popular premolar clamp for both upper and lower teeth. Best suited for molars, the number 12A and 13A are a paired set of clamps, meaning they are designed with offset jaws. The wider jaw is placed on the buccal aspect of the tooth. The number 12A is used on the lower right and upper left, while the number 13A is used on the lower left and upper right. The serrations on the jaws of these clamps provide better retention, particularly for structurally compromised teeth. Before placing the clamp, it is recommended that a piece of floss be tied to the clamp. This is known as a safety ligation and provides a means of retrieving a clamp should it become dislodged. Engaging the clamp with floss through both holes ensures complete retrieval of the clamp. When seating the clamp, place the lingual jaw first. While maintaining contact with the lingual surface, spread the clamp open just far enough to clear the height of contour. Then slide the jaw along the buccal surface and position the clamp below the height of contour. Test the seated clamp for stability with a finger.